Well, hello everyone. Here it is, my first time ever on an SMP. I really don't know what to expect because I don't know what this is all about. So if you're like me and you want to learn how to join an SMP, such as Guild Rock, then you're in the right place. But before we get started, I have to go back a little bit in time to show you exactly how I ended up here at my future base location. You're probably wondering, well, how does one get involved in an SMP such as Guild Rock? Well, I was contacted by a player named G Carrot. Carrot asked me if I was interested in joining an SMP and wanted to show me a trailer of what his was all about. So I said, hey, why not? After watching the trailer, I was absolutely amazed, but I still didn't understand quite what an SMP was. So after several sleepless nights, I finally decided to apply and was accepted. And then this is how it started from there. It was a few nights ago, and I had just fallen asleep because I hadn't slept for a while, as I was too excited for this new adventure. So let's see how this journey started. Let's go. What? Oh, so tired. Well, looks like it's another wonderful day. What? Did you just hear that? We gotta go check that out. What is that? Where did this come from? Enter portal for a new adventure. Am I ready to start a new adventure? Why not? Let's go. Well, here it is, spawn point. Welcome to Guild Rock SMP. As soon as I spawned in, I was greeted by several different players, ready to meet me and take me on a tour. Immediately I thought, wow, I have a lot of work to do. All the players standing in front of me had enchanted netherite armor equipment and elytra. And here I am, looking just like this. So my first words to everyone is I wish I wore my purple. Tanya was the tour guide, and immediately we went to the room to the right. And in this room, they're like, go ahead, take some free armor, some free tools, free weapons, free food. And I opened up the chests, and I was like, wow, this is incredible. They're giving us enchanted tools. And then they told me to come over here to pick up the golden carrots. So right away, I'm super appreciative of everything I'm receiving. Once I was geared up, had all my tools and weapons ready, we then proceeded to go on a tour. And let me tell you, the tour was unbelievable. And I'm not going to get into the details of the shops and the gaming district, all of the players' bases, because that is all for my future episodes on this channel. But after we toured several players' bases, I was completely amazed at the amount of talent that is involved in this specific server. After the tour concluded, we ended back. We ended up back here at Spawn Point, and from here, we went directly into this awesome-looking Nether portal. I mean, look over there. Right before we enter the Nether portal, there's this incredible yacht just floating around. And as we entered the Nether portal, I was like, "This is a Nether portal. This is Beverly Hills Nether portal." What's really nice is the Nether hub is mapped out north, south, east, and west, and we have our own mailboxes. Here's mine, and there's Andy's missing. And these are all the players playing on the SMP. We have Edith, Cyclone, BSP, April, Seggy, Hex, Seb, Joss, Evan, Scotty, Falcon, Donut, Salty, Genome, Hunter, Conman, Rocket, Troy, Seb, Josh, Ewan, Anya, Barn, Long Ears, Nano, Lockley, and Thomas. I'm sure I forgot somebody. And then I found out that I was part of a group, a group called a guild. And in our guild, we have a specific name. And our guild's name is Halcyon. And of course, a Halcyon is a bird, but with the deep meaning that I understood from a Halcyon is that it means happiness and great success. So the members of my guild are Lady Edith, con man and rocket bug so we have a lady a man a bug and a buffalo all representing a bird interesting and then if you come over here in the nether you could see that you can get boats or anything you need as long as you donate something Ooh, some lava i could probably use some of that at some point and then right here this is the open access to the nether not ready to go down there yet each hallway has its own designed for all the players bases it's labeled very easily for you to find which leads us to our next task of finding a base for me Tanya had asked me what biome am I most interested in, and I really didn't have a favorite. So we ended up going down this long hallway down the nether. We went behind this nether portal into another nether portal, which ended up taking us over to this base, which ended up taking us over here. And over here, I saw this incredible mountain, and I said to myself, that's exactly where I want to have my base. Look at that amazing view right there. This bridge definitely has to go. But I still had one question that needed answered. Is this a friendly SMP? Do you start from the beginning? Well, I got those answers from the website. Take a look for yourself. Guild Rock SMP is a Minecraft Bedrock Edition Hermitcraft style survival multiplayer server dedicated for devoted and mature players, content and non content creators alike, with splendid building skills and superb technical skills who are looking to collaborate 
and peacefully compete with others who all possess similar abilities in a diamond economy based environment. So then the decision was made. I'm going to start this as a regular survival world with starting with nothing but my shulkers. I'm going to put all my diamond armor, all my diamond tools, my diamond weapons. I'm going to stick them in a shulker box and I'll pull them out when I actually achieve diamonds. I'm not going to go purchase anything yet until I get to a point where I have diamonds just coming in. And I don't have to rely on mining diamonds to replace gear or armor or weapons. And that leads us to where we are right now, today. Day one of Survival Guild Rock. But what does every survival Minecrafter do? When they start a brand new survival world, the first thing we do is go punch a tree. Well, let's go punch a tree and get this world going. Well, the tree I see I want to punch is up on that waterfall because they are definitely obstructing the way. And I have a pond planned for this waterfall. And back in that little cave is where I'm going to stick my temporary base. We're going to dig that out today. And we're also going to get rid of that temporary bridge that's over there with dirt blocks. Again, everything is going to be semi-completed once this is done. Because I know I won't get enough supplies and the first time playing this. But I'm in for the long haul. And we're going to make this look awesome. So let me chop some trees down. And get to a point where we could see the beautiful waterfall. Alright, I got my first wooden pickaxe built. Time to head into the cave. Start mining out an entranceway. This little hole in the ground. Well, a little bit of an update, uh, incredible creeper playing around in my new fountain. I just, I don't understand why he wants to go to what he finished. Heck, there's all this we can blow up. There's all that I can blow up, but he's, he's coming over here. I don't, I don't like it. He's chasing me. Let's see here. I knew I was going to die. That's okay, though. I got everything back. Never even happened, did it? What creeper? All right, so yeah, here's a little update on where we're at. Uh, we've almost got the swimming pool fountain done. The Joe Buffalo water hole, we'll call it. Now there's a spider. Why is everybody playing over here? You like this new area? What is going on here? Maybe I could make a spider farm out of this. Anyway, I'm building to... I'm looking to put cows in here. So we have to go get those next. But yeah, I had a pretty good progress down here. I went down uh, pretty far in here. Got some iron. Got some buckets. You see the little bit of coverage I have. And, uh... Yeah. I have, uh... A lot of cobblestone picked up and, uh... Copper, and then of course I have my furnace cooking here because I want to put some more of this. I got to take that stone out. I got to get this bottom here of my well done. The Joe Buffalo water hole has to get finished. Want to fill all this in with water so I can plant my sugar cane there. I had to go pretty far to go find some water. That's all I could find in my little journey, but it's enough to get started. Day one, not so bad. Only died once, thanks to a creeper. All right, so we started on our bridge. So let me show you what we got done and I can show you how to build this bridge. So we have this area from here to there that I want to bridge off because over here is where my portal is for temporary purposes to get back and forth from everything else in the world. Because I don't have elytra yet. What we're going to do next... Oh, we definitely got to put some blocks across the top of that. That'll look good. Anyway, and to build a bridge is... Basically, I took some spruce wood. I went four high on this side and four high on that side. Next, what I want to do is put down some half slabs. And that's going to be our actual bridge part there. If we come out like three... And then, a little trick I learned is if you take some... Bruce trap doors give you that nice little walk up the bridge. Now we're just going to go ahead and fill in the rest with these half slabs I have to make the entire bridge. Ooh, there's lava down there. We're back here. And again, we're going to put our pillars in. Just like this. And then four more pillars here. Yeah, 
Gotta get my levels back up. That creeper took them all away from me. Nice big coal vein here. I know I shouldn't be taking all these. I should wait till I get fortune. But it's crisis situation right now. We're way behind the eight ball. Like two months. And then once again, go ahead and lay down your trap doors. Right there. Nice little walkway up. Walkway across. Wonderful. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove some of these and replace them with oak. Next, we're going to make a little dirt pillar here so I can run trap doors along the side. Next, we're going to go ahead and start putting our fencing in. Next, I want to go ahead and put a beam across here like this. And then we're going to do the same thing again. And then go ahead and run a pillar across here. Same way. Now we're going to go ahead and put some cobblestone walls on the sides over here. And one in the middle. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the roof. Alright, so what you're going to do is just go around the whole thing with a set of stairs. Okay, just kind of like this. And try not to fall into the void. <laughs> or the, the end of the world there. Let's hop up there. And for this, we're going to go ahead and use some Oak dinner, we can go ahead and put a middle run of spruce down the middle. We're going to put in a spruce there. And a spruce here. And then we'll just add half slab of spruce right across the top of this. Just like that. And your roof is completed. Now we're just going to decorate it. So go ahead and grab your spruce trap doors. And do the same thing on the other side. We've got our bridge finished. Almost. We need some chain, which we'll get by the next video. I uh, also need some shears. I just need to find some iron. But I see some cows here. And our farm is starting to look really good. And there you go. We've got a bit of a farm growing here. So we could probably go and get our cattle or our cows, bring them in, breed them, and we'll have the first start of our leather cow factory. Come on, cow. I'm not going to sleep. You're coming with me. Come on. Got something special for you in here. Come on, don't trample on my plants. There we go. You stay there. I'll be back. Spider in the pond. Spider in the pond. What's with these guys? They love to go swimming in this pond. All these mobs love my pond. Well, I hope everybody else loves the pond as much as the mobs do. All right, so here we're going to take a cow across the bridge for the first time. Come on, guys. Head over. Okay, we are going to have to have the sacrificial lamb here. Get gone. Cow? Come on, cow. Let's go. We're going to open up shop here. Come to the corner. There we go. Let's see the baby cow. And we got a baby cow. Closed that in a hurry, didn't I? Our sugar cane looks good. We got beets and carrots from Rocket. What a great day. All right, so day one, cows are done. We've got our sugar cane. We've got carrots. 
wheat, beets, potatoes. All thanks to Rocket Bug. That looks like this wraps up this video. I hope you had a great day. I hope you learned a lot about how to join an SMP, specifically the Guild Rock SMP. I hope you learned how to set up and get through your first couple nights, get some food, some wood, some weapons, some armor, and I hope you learned how to build a bridge. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.